Problem number 29. By hand, find the solution set for the following system. So we have a system of equations. So we have x plus uh, 3y minus 4z equals negative 3. And then we have uh, 2x minus 2y plus 4z equals 10. And the last equation is 2x minus 4y plus 4z equals 14. And the goal here is to find x, y, and uh, z as well. So um, there's lots of ways to do this. Uh, I'm noticing something that might be relatively simple. So let's give these equations numbers, 1, 2, 3. So you'll notice if you add the first two equations, the z's will cancel. And if you add the first equation and the last, the z's will also cancel. So let's take that approach and see what happens. So let's add equations 1 and equations 2. Let's do that. So if you add the first two, let's see, we have x plus 2x, that's 3x. 3y uh, plus negative 2y is just y. And then the z's cancel, right? Negative 4z plus 4z is 0, so I won't write that. Equals. Then you also have to add these numbers, right? So negative 3 plus 10 is 7. So that was just adding the first two uh, equations. Now let's add the first one and the last one. So let's add... Let's add 1 and 3. So let's try that to see what happens. So adding the first and the last equation. So let's see. So x plus 2x is 3x again. Good stuff. Uh, 3y plus negative y uh, plus negative 4y is negative y. Right? Because you add them and you get negative y. Uh, negative 4z plus 4z is 0. So I won't write it. And then negative 3 plus 14 is 11. So again, just adding the first one to the third one, uh, giving us that. So now we have two equations with two variables. So let's write them together, like underneath each other. So we can write it as follows. Uh, 3x plus y equals 7. And then here we have 3x minus y equals 11. So the goal, by the way, uh, when you have a system of equations like this, is um, you get rid of a variable. So like... You can pick the first two and the first and the last or, or any, any combination, right? And you try to get rid of the same variable. And then usually you end up with something like this. And so now uh, we have to get rid of another variable. And it looks like we can just add. Uh, and things work out wonderfully. So if we add uh, 3x plus 3x is 6x. y plus negative y is 0. I won't write it. Uh, and then 7 plus 11 is 18. So you have 6x equals 18, so we can just divide by 6. That gives us uh, x equals 3. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that in a box. That's an accomplishment, right? So now that we have 3, we can use something called uh, back substitution. So we can take the 3 and plug it into um, an equation to find the y value. Uh, let's, let's use this one because it might be a little bit easier. It doesn't have a negative. You could have used the other one too. So that will give us uh, 3 times 3 plus y equals 7. So we have 9 plus y equals uh, 7. So subtracting 9, so minus 9 minus 9, we have y equals negative 2. So I'm going to put that in a box. That is a major accomplishment. <laughs> All right, so now we have uh, x and y. We just need z. Um, so we can use any equation we want. Um, the first one might be the easiest because it doesn't have a number. Um, well, what are we looking for? We're looking for z. Um, yeah, let's just use the first one. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to write it again down here. Our first equation was uh, x plus 3y minus 4z equals negative 3. So we're looking for uh, z. So x is 3, so 3 plus, let's see, 3. y is negative 2. And then we don't know z, we're looking for it. So minus 4z equals negative 3. Let's be really careful. So we have 3 minus 6, right? Minus 6. 3 times negative 2 is minus 6. Minus 4z, and that's equal to negative 3. So this is negative 3 minus 4z equals negative 3. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Check this out. When you add 3 to both sides here, um, they cancel, right? The 3s cancel. I didn't expect that. So we get negative 4z equals 0. That's really cool. So you divide by negative 4, 
and um, that's just going to be 0. So z is 0. So that's the answer. You have your x, y, and your z. If you want to be a little more uh, pro about it, you can write it as an ordered point, uh, x, y, z. This is actually a point in space, by the way, just extra, no extra knowledge. Uh, this is a, a point in three dimensions. You can write this as 3, negative 2, comma 0. And if you're curious, uh, it's not part of the question, but each of these equations uh, represents uh, a point, uh, a plane rather, a plane in space. So you have three planes. I can't draw it, but they're all intersecting magically at one point. And that point uh, is the solution to the system of equations. So pretty cool stuff. I hope that made sense.